called a lacing card. All you got to do is take a piece of cardstock or recycle some cereal boxes, snack boxes, whatnot, and you draw whatever you want on there. Then you take a sharp pencil and poke some holes about an inch apart, like so. Then you take some yarn, and on one end you want to wrap it in tape and then kind of pinch and twist it so it looks kind of pointy like a needle. That way it's easier to go through the holes. Also, I'd recommend making your holes a little bit bigger than this one. Uh, but if you make them bigger, uh, keep in mind that they'll need to be a little further apart so that space in between doesn't accidentally rip. Now, I did this one with two different kinds of stitches. Uh, the first one, which is... Oh, shoot. I don't remember the name of it, but it looks like a dash line. If you don't like the dash line, you can go with what's called a back stitch for solid lines. And the way that the original one works is you go... Uh, under and then over and under and over for that look but for the back stitch what you do is actually say if I wanted to continue this line to the next one instead of going straight to it I'd go underneath pull it up through that hole and then the stitch would go backwards and then I go down through that hole and that would make my solid line and then my next one uh, assuming pretending that these aren't here if I was going to continue the solid line again pop up through this one go back, pop up, go back, and then you get a nice solder line like that. And this one I actually had to use three different lengths because I used a lot more yarn than I thought it would. So there's the taped ends of all the other bits that I used. Easy.